Hello everyone, Hero of Martin here with a new type of campaign as we're going to do Medieval um, Kingdoms um, 120, uh, 12, uh, 1220 uh, AD campaign. So thank you for joining me here. Of course, it's sort of a Medieval 2 campaign for the new versions. So thank you for joining me here. We're going to play as Scotland. Yes, uh, I mostly do that because I just watched a movie out. Okay, and I just thought, okay, sure. <coughs> Um, everyone's going to do a faction for now. It's going to be Scotland. I'm also really interested in doing um, uh, Denmark. Um, I think that one would also be cool to do. And I also have been thinking of maybe um, Hungary would also be a cool one. I would like to try out um, the mm, from the also the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, looks to me like a cool one to do. Um, they're not like any uh, Islamic factions, but at some point when one of those comes out, I'm also into doing one of those. But yeah, that is one of the things I would uh, want to try and do. But now we're going to start as the Kingdom of Scotland. Uh, the Kingdom of Scotland. <coughs> the faction leader Alexander. In the 12th century, Scotland was a feudal assault in by, re by, uh, by the reorganization of the office in Tribution Burke. During this period, the French and English uh, friend light of the churchmen moved to the territory of the country. Because of this, the kingdom, the eastern and southern territories became speaking English, while the rest of the county spoke Gaelic, while Orkney and the Shetland Islands spoke Norwegian, <coughs> and remained under the kingdom's control until uh, 1468. Yeah, alright. Uh, the cultural traits are feudal states, the fear of our marker's hand, uh, plus 10 years more when fighting against armies of other religions. Uh, supply network uh, plus 24 from each adaptive trade route. Um, that's right, nice. Maximum uh, 150 plus, and also a 300 plus income from formation of tributary states. Uh, the faction trade for Scotland is in occupation, double units replenish when taking on defeated troops post battle. Uh, so that actually is really nice. I found it, I already possessed a bit about uh, Scotland, and that mechanic is quite useful for us. And then we got religious influence plus 10 uh, catalog in Christianity uh, influence. That is also really good. <coughs> but I don't think in the beginning of the campaign that's going to be too handy. But for now, I think it's going to be uh, yeah, a cool campaign. Um, we're going to play on normal because I know from harder difficulties the uh, AI is going to be able to spawn like uh, <coughs> quite a lot of armies where you can like. With far more sediments can spawn only one. Um, at some occasions, like I already did that, like the um, at some point the Lordship of Ireland was able to spawn like two big armies, while I only could spawn one, and I only had I, I had like five um, sediments totally. So that's one of the things I why I want to play to normal. We might just do the def uh, battle difficulty on hard at some point, but not the campaign difficulty. That is just because of the fact that I don't want to be uh, pissed off of the fact that they will have so many armies. Uh, but anyway, <coughs> uh, that is now it for now. I don't have any submons on as well. I think uh, maybe I do actually. I got the trade increasement uh, mechanic that actually allows tra um, trade to be more profitable. Uh, what in the main game is normally not the case, and uh, the same with this game uh, with the mod. So that's one of the things I had implemented. So let's go and play as Scotland. Um, anyway, for those of you new to the channel, I am Hero of Martin, uh, mostly a Total War YouTuber, but I will also do Tycoon gaming. The mostly one that has been uh, focusing on for Tycoon mainly right now is Jurassic World Evolution. Um, so yeah, that is one thing that is going to be uploaded every weekend. Um, I was doing that sort of also during the week, but it's not being watched as much. Uh, I'm just thinking of doing like marathon videos where I'm actually playing like three hours head on, so you sort of have an uh, three hundred three hour long let's play video that you can watch instead of having that um, like in the to total week like one episode or something. So you will have like one episode a week. It uh, depends on which um, type it's going to be. Like there's only going to be one of those big uh, videos. That will be from the news DLC, from he Dr. Henry Wu, or from um, uh, the new campaign updated video. Uh, I'm doing like from the newest update, starting over a new campaign. But that is a bit for the Tycoon Gaming and what is going on with that on the channel. But mostly I'm focusing on Total War. And at the moment I'm doing um, mostly for Total War, Ancient Empires. 
the ancient empire's mod for uh, yeah the conversion from Rome to towards Attila. That mod I'm uh, mostly doing right now. And now I'm also going to do a medieval game along that, so that means you have a total of uh, four, six Let's Plays going on. Actually, seven if you're also going to count Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And those ones also going to be like released once or twice a week. But anyway, um, thank you all for joining me here. If you enjoy those types of videos and also this Let's Play, don't forget to hit the, the subscribe button so you can keep up to date with my videos. And if you think I deserve a like after this end of this video, don't forget to. Uh, yeah, do that is always appreciated. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And let's go and start the campaign. I will see you in a second. All right, there we are. Don't not really enter any any introductions. I'm going to do start away with destroying this army, and I'm also going to do start over right away with replacing my king. Um, this is how I played in my <coughs> campaign. Um, I'm going to put my um, elder son and heir Carter in command of that army because he got some good traits for that and he is just overall a good my fighter and I think he should become the leader of the army well he is going to be the governor of uh, Scotland well he's on his old age and now he then he can become and join his father's footsteps but I think is not too bad of an idea so yeah because he also, of course, is the heir apparent. Um, I'm going to start off uh, right away with... Oh, they got some good units. Oh my god, I almost should actually go and do that. Uh, because a catapult is going to be so handy. Uh, yep, definitely that one. Um, we're also going to get one mercenary barband. Really nice unit as well. Um, I don't think we need anything else. I would like to get maybe some knights, but... I can think that our own units are going to be able to handle it. I'm also going to upgrade our uh, Marquerine so we can actually get a Scottish Bows. But I wouldn't mind getting. Yeah. Scottish Bows are what is one I think I would want. Uh, we're gonna like get the cover made. The Scottish Bows are really good. Um, but I need some pikes. Those ones, pikes are going to be really important to holding up the line against the English. <coughs> Um, I'm going for right for this one, the veteran pikes, really nice units, um, I think overall. Um, yeah, we just need it because we, you're not going to match the English in um, heavy infantry like these guys. I'm not going to be too good for that, but they will be good um, if they are supported by pikes and mostly are support units. The pikes will just be most advanced that will hold the line um, for us because we're not going to be able to match the English cavalry at the moment, so um, we have to play it this way. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of turn one. Our current position also is that we are in a defensive alliance with the Lordship of Ireland. And the second, we are not having any friendly relationships with the English. Um, at the moment, we also, the English also have an, sort of an alliance of trade pact with the Welsh. Those ones are orientated over here. We also have an... Um, non-aggression pact and military access pact with the kingdom of france um controlled by Philip. and then onwards we don't actually have anything else to say but except the kingdom of sicily that is also down here in the south and they are allied with the papal state that are of course orientated in uh, rome but that is mostly it and i hope you uh, will all enjoyed it uh let's go and start off with the first turn ending and during the turn endings i will uh, do not record those, so those you don't need to do new to the channel. Sometimes I will uh, just record those shit uh, and have something to talk about. Um, but uh, yeah, for now I'm going to end turn and I will see you all in a second. If there are any major appearances or uh, happenings in the turn ending, of course, like diplomatic um, <coughs> uh, occursions, I will of course be back. So I hope you enjoy and yeah, I see you in a sec. Alright, there we are, we got our pikes uh, behind as well got a few of those and then we need like some arches um do we got any no fortunately we don't right um i think that's all what we need for now so how many turns is that like two three and two more turns then we get the arches so that's three turns totally yeah i think i don't have to do anything more so I will possibly wait like at three turns before I start recording in so you don't have to wait and see all the turn endings because I'm not going to do anything else except what we're now going to do is <coughs> put him in there 
going to put uh, some of that. Got a support, marry 20. You need 20, so there's 9 more turns and you can marry one of those nobles. I don't think I will marry like him. You could marry him, but. My friend! Uh, we could welcome. do that. We also could go and uh, marry Philip. Oh, yeah, he's an old man, so he would die soon. Because your people are known to have it's honor. a high chance, so if we could have military alliance, like, no, he doesn't want that either. <laughs> no. Moderate. Moderate is not too bad. But I don't think I need that actually. No, I'm not going to do that. Well, that's going to be all for now. Um, so I will see you all in a second. Well, we also have arrived in winter. Um, I think, oh, have we got any cool good mercenaries that we might still be able to gain? No, not necessarily. Mm, I'm really thinking of getting like one more bike unit because I think that might just be good better. I'm also going to march with Edinburgh, going to get some attrition because of it, but we will be able to replenish that like in a turn or two, so um yeah we'll just wait because we can maybe even get some cool things. Uh so that's plain by me. Um mm, I'm going to upgrade this one. Uh just because we can it also helps a bit with public order so sure. We don't have a much good public order here. Um I'm also going to get that one because then we can able to get catapults of our own. This one is like a bit expensive, but I d um. But these three we have uh, like and just enough in the way of money. So right now we are good. Um, like these guys are really willing, well, willing to pay quite a lot of money before for it, but uh, I'm just going to keep myself here for now. <coughs> and to uh, happen, I might actually turn up a little bit of the sound because I can even hear it myself so much, but a bit too low for my liking. A bit too low. Yeah, that's already a bit better, um, for my pin. I didn't hear it before, right now. Now I will be able to hear some sound, so I suppose that's fine by me, right? Uh, anyway, uh, I actually forgot to stop the out turn anyhow, it doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah. Anyway, like these are like the moments that I'm talking about something, and then yeah, this sort of reasonable to think that I should do that that way. But yeah, we're just going to possibly go to war with England. It's going to be difficult because they have so many men. But if we play it the way I played it before, we should be able to be good. That means fighting with like many pikes because the pike are just going to be so handy in holding them at bay. Uh, that's just the way it is, and the archers as well, and also the. Um, uh, these guys, um, the catapults also will draw the enemy near to us instead of we have going to them. So yeah, I don't know how good the set of of yoga force is, but I suppose we'll see it. Um, we don't have enough money, that's a bit of an unfortunate letter uh, next turn. So I might have to go and upgrade the taxes a bit, because otherwise I'm going to lose money. But anyway, we're going to push against York, I think, sooner than later, so they can't really build up. And like this is already a progression of war. The king is alone, so we should be able to find him next turn, and I'm going to do that. And I think all of you would like to see that as well. Uh, fighting against Henry. Like, this is a progression of war. I got a cause as belly it's right now, in like English terms, or at least that was proof. And like in the medieval time, cause of bellies, or even in the Roman time, it was the cause of bellies were the ones that you used to declare war in the eyes of the gods or in god's eye that it was the pro the declaration was justified meant you see the good eye in the eyes of the world like that is just basically propagation uh, i'm going to declare war on them but i'm not going to do it that way no i no 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 i'm going to join I the war to your wisdom well against I england i'm not going to get some to money out of it first oh yep definitely thank you yep. Thank you for that money. Kill! Holy shit, really? That good of an army? That is surprising. I didn't expect that. Well, they don't have much in bow infantry, so they might just charge us, but they dug up like 
an insane amount of cavalry. Like that makes this army really good. Damn it! Why did it have an? Why did it need to have that Olinger? Um, I have to fight this right now because I know they are going to have, um, to have reinforcements. And killing the king on the first day of battle, sure. Like having like um, like um, like what you have with um, uh, Christy, you have a wall score in a certain amount that you and also with the actually can capture enemies. View that you can decide to kill an arrow. Of course, that that shouldn't be the. So it shouldn't be decided, but cool that you can actually capture him and uh, maybe you the things you want and that means that you're able to, uh, to determine um, the piece are what I want and if you do not accept, we're going to or we're going to give you uh, get you killed but you can also like make sure that uh, they can become your puppet and those kind of things that they will not um, <coughs> totally die out and that you can sort of can dictate terms of the war so I think that would be really cool my opinion if you if there would be something like that possible all right um but i can tell like the unfortunate thing is our catapults are not going to be able to go with us um to this amazingly nice high ground um because we are like uh, this faction is based on the picks they got that ability of the picks what makes them really um quite nice in that opinion um uh, in that kind of way. Unfortunately, because it's not good of our own problem just yet, we're not going to be able to have them yet. So that's a bit, um, yeah, unfortunate, but sure. For now, we're going to do it this way. Um, this is going to be the line for now. I'm going to deploy it differently in a second, of course. But I think I actually should definitely have like three pikes in the center because the pikes are going to could be quite handy to able to. Um, Hold the line, of course. But for now, we're going to have this formation. Alright, let's go and set it on pause for now. Uh, yeah, yeah, because we need like a center line, it's going to be pikes. And then in that center line, we're going to have these guys. Because they have like a shield formation, you can screen the pikes from any arrow fire. Although, saying that, they don't have that much. So we could actually stress our line out quite a bit, but still, I don't really want to be charged by their uh, uh, by their cavalry, of course, with our pikes, because that won't be good. And both flanks, of course, have now those spears. And down uh, behind those four units, or oh, have these guys. Yeah, something like this, I suppose. And then behind that, we might have the bows for now. For now. Because I got the bow advantage, you don't have the range of finding just yet, but we have to do it down some way or another. Um, and I think the cavalry can stay where it is right now. And these guys can also like pull up. Are we sure we are not ready? What? Well, did I not deploy it? I don't think I did, did I? Nope, I didn't. Oops. Oh. Well, where is the third? Why did you not deploy? Okay, sure. Doesn't matter. Alright, deploy normally. Alright, okay. Um. What on earth are you going to do? What? I don't know what you're going to do, but sure. I'm not sure if we're getting in range. There's a bit of an, uh, not sure the, uh, we don't have yet a nice line, but I can like really good deploy over there in the forest. So that's a bit unfortunate. Fortunately, they, ah, oh, it would be so great if we would have like, um, if we wouldn't, if they wouldn't have like an onager because then we have, we would have the beautiful standing we'll position. Kill them all. Um. We hunger for blood and battle and running. All right, just click on. We 
damn it. Oops. Oh. Yeah, okay, nice deployment yet. <laughs> oh jeez. Um Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, do it this way, sure. I don't care too much. Um Alright, so oh, I think we're having a good formation set up right now. Ah damn it! Oh I, I don't know why. Why is it not okay with you? Why is it so difficult to have a hard formation? It's like why does it have to be like that? There's no reason for it. Like none. So I'm just going to try and deploy again. Uh get him out. Uh, get him a hard group. Uh, is now good? No. Oh, almost, almost did it. Totally screwed up the formation. That is so nice. Okay, yeah, I can't. That is like, acceptable. Great. Are they in the formation? Yes, they are. All right, let's fast forward a bit because we don't have much time. Ah. Saying that, we've still got like 37, 34 minutes. It can go really quick, this battle, but like uh, the thing is, they have a cover advantage. We have to be wary of that. <coughs> but I'm confident in our uh, units most of the time. Of course, they also have their oranges that are going to pepper us. That means we should also be able to pepper their oranges. Uh, at least I'm, I'm going for their oranges, so they might want to join us. Yeah, we're going to have. We will have that. We will have this problem. Problem. We will have that. Oh, okay, good. Yes. Oh, that is so nice. Like in the two first hits, basically got uh, two hits down. Nice. One more to go. All right, I'm. I'm fine with that. Like one energy left. Firearm bundles, um, hobbly large, and all that kind of stuff. Thank you very much. Um, Ah, this fire bomb though. Ah, uh, I'm not too worried actually about the infantry. Our pike should actually definitely should hold it. Um, oh, they don't have the formation yet. Yeah. I'm going to charge in. And I'm going to have support from... Oh, yes, we got a good charge and they didn't have a charge. We're over here. That's perfect. Thank you very much, cavalry. Uh, look at that. Absolutely <laughs> no one left. Uh, it, that is actually just so um, understandable because you can't charge in a pike line. I think you're going to survive it. There's no way. No way. And those guys dodge are also really powerful. So, ooh, um, come here, come here, come, 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 come forward, come forward. Charge, 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 charge. charge. No, 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 no. Ah, shit. Yep, ah, that one is dead. Ah. Um. Oh, and I'm going to send here in some units because they've been outflanked. Yeah, the cavalry dies. The cavalry dies, I suppose. Oh shit! Why didn't I charge them in? Oh, that's a stupid mistake. Um. So that's fine. Um, the flank is holding. I'm going to try and fire from the archers from here. Fortunately, we lost that one again, but it doesn't matter too much. So I'm going to choose. No, we've got the spear unit, it doesn't matter too much. Alright, over here we got those calf units. Yeah, he's the, the king uh, is now fighting here. I believe we can kill him. 
Oh, absolute new sword. Yeah, well, let's archers. Nope, no chance of surviving. The enemy are losing their advantage. I'm also going to send these guys in over here with one flank. Uh, you can also charge in here. Yeah, let's get them out of that and let them like run towards it. Oh god! Ooh, he can help out because he, I don't think he's going to win that. Hello. He actually is going to win that fight. I didn't expect that. Good. Very good. <coughs> Not too great of a chart, but you know. Um, let's send these guys over towards those units. And we actually won a pretty decisive victory over here. And I'm hoping that we can get off the king. Oh, definitely. Victory! This is your day! You also have to click that twice, otherwise it's not going to run. Ah, uh, well, um, I don't think we're going to be able to catch them, do we? No, we do have to go to kill the king now. And the most uh, the nice thing about it, because they actually got a pretty decent army and we actually killed quite a lot of them, we should be able to really replenish like almost every last one of the humans that we got in this army, so that's quite nice as well. Um, now let's fast forward while we do this, because it is quite important. Is the king dead yet? Uh, not yet, not yet, almost. Like, it would be really cool if you just could capture him and then ask for a ransom or something like that. If you, if they don't accept the ransom, just kill him or just um, something like that. That would be quite nice. Um, like, if they like a sort of regent, that would be also be cool, like that would implement. But I'm not sure how good that would be. Like, uh, the next total war that I can see from Three Kingdom is so good. Um, uh, the, the diplomacy, it really seems to be so uh, in depth, even more. I really hope that at some point they will try and implement a bit of Tilla. But yeah, anyway, that was the battle. We got an heroic victory. Really good. So let's go towards the campaign map, and I will see you in a second. Alright, there we are. I don't... Oh. Yeah, we kill them. Good. Like, 21% increase. That is so great. Like, almost replenished totally, so that's quite nice. I don't think I will try and push out, but I am going to be over here and then launch the ambush we can yeah I have an ambush shut up oh we didn't lose the onagers that's good got our first initial engagement against the king of England and Ethelred is the king of England right now Thirsty for battle. um they're still updating this mod. Like, if you want to download it, is it like 12 gig file that you also have to download before you can actually use it? So, yeah, you have to be quite on their toes for that, unfortunately. But, well, I really wouldn't mind doing that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, sure. Elite bikes. Threatened oh. squad is actually. Well, anyway, let's end the turn, shall we? And I will see you all in a second. Hopefully we get an ambush battle. But uh, yeah, see you in a sec. Uh, here we are. We can actually upgrade our land. Well, I will do, but I need that money. Um, let's see if we can do a central square. If we do this like we can, and sort of... This is like going for money. What I can tell. It's cool. Mm, there's mostly public or margin. There's quite a lot of money, actually. But we need gems. I actually need gems for that. Oh. Alright. This one is actually... Whoa. That is a nice one. Well. That is something I would like to go and get. Only that's only all the way up there. Jeez. Alright. Good go for Central Square. 
Um, I think we should do that anyway. Um, I might, I'm thinking of going for this one because that will help me with public order and also getting sergeants as well, ones who are actually quite good. Um, as an axe unit, so sure. I have actually not tested them, but I think they're good, sort of decent axe unit and a good infantry unit. As a secondary line infantry would be quite nice, so I think we go for a central square and it also will help out with public order, so quite valid reasons. <coughs> um, we could push out because we've got full public order, but I'm not sure, like, if they got like quite a lot of armies here, I don't mind waiting, so I can like ambush them, but otherwise I also don't want them to take advantage of my victory. But sure, I'm going to just set and wait in our, our town. Alright, um, yeah, there we are. Bye bye. Well, I'm just going to give my best thing. I really don't care about that too much. Oh, do we actually get reinforcement from the kingdom? Uh, why not? Oh, is he? I, I'm just going to test it if I hope he does. Because that meant that we. Yeah, I think he does, doesn't he? Mm. I really hope he's in reinforcement range. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we can still go back, right? Yeah, we can still go back and also... Yeah, I think we should try it. Ah, because... Um, they're definitely going to sally. Although they actually don't have a good army, so I'm just going to siege them here. I'm not going to attack them because I'm pretty sure they're going to sally out against me, which means I will be in a certain advantage. So yeah, I'm just going to siege them. Unfortunately, we'll have some winter attrition uh, to go with it. Oh, like host calls are also nice. Uh, if I can get one of those, I'm definitely going to go pick them up because it's such a nice charge bonus. Uh, nice charge bonus. Like these guys also got a really good charge bonus. These ones as well, and these guys as well. Hopefully, uh, they will join in uh, if, they come clo if they come closer. Um, they did in Sally. Really? Well, sure. That is stupid. Okay then. That is a surprise. Didn't expect that to happen. Well, then I should have attacked. Uh, maybe if the island... Hopefully they come a bit closer. Yes, they didn't. Oh, you... <laughs> oh, this is what they do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, go, we have to go and... Ah, yeah, sure. I suppose that's one way how you can do it. Oh, uh, so they took uh, Nottingham. Oh, actually that's quite nice for us. Um, I'm just going to do this a balanced engagement. I'm not going to fight this battle, sorry. I don't think there's no much need for that right now. Um, so I'm going to occupy it. And that means we have taken the settlement of what? Did we, did we complete it? Powerful. Oh. All right. Um, let's go over here. Um, I did this such annoyance. Like, why do you need that? Like, uh, well, sure. Like with this, I really prefer the um <laughs> the Warhammer mechanic. Uh, it's far better. Like. Like just a, a whole tier better, but we can't do this now. We, like, we need to go get this one to get snow attrition. That would be so uh, useful. So we got a chapel. Oh, because of that, we're actually using losing money. Jeez. Um, we can actually get an agent, and I will. But I'm not going to increase it. Actually, I think. Mm. And this one I will destroy for a bit. This one I won't. Mm, but yeah. Edinburgh. <coughs> this one going to help with that. And also should actually make us go with our money quite good. Do, do we need... Yeah, we need to increase attacks for turn so we don't go bankrupt. I want to upgrade my units or at least replenish them a turn. Uh, unfortunately, they are not going to be able to go and take... Um, Colchester or London, but I think I have to, uh, right now, I already have to go and declare war on my ally, because 
they basically make me now not able to trade with anybody, but I really do not want. I want to trade because we have that bonus. So yeah, at some point we'll betray them because then we can unify the king uh England or the island of Britain, I suppose yeah. We can then unite the island of Britain under the banner of Scotland. Anyway, um, with it, um, I think that just had a really bad public order, but we have to go and take it for now. Um, are you actually a good governor? No, you're not. You're a really good leader. So you possibly will be my next one. I'm going. Yeah, let's make Evan it. You are command for defending, so that's supposed to make sense. You are. Oh, you're actually a really good governor. But that means that you're not able to go and be marry him because I'm pretty sure you actually got a wife, don't you? Yep. And do you got a wife, Evan? No, you don't. Um, I could also go for with a scholar or a leader. A leader is also good, actually, for a l for them. So I possibly will wait a turn so I actually can get him. But now nah, let's get Evan. David is still. David is just a really good one for it, but I don't trust him because he like got three loyalty. Um, yeah, he's actually yeah, he's just really good for it. Darn it! Why are you just such a good governor? <laughs> um, Uh yeah yeah um no um yeah I think I will do evil wine um when we get him uh when we've got enough money um Yeah, I'm going to wait for this one. Well, for the moment, let's just end turn. Although, I'm thinking, this is actually quite a nice ending point. We took our first settlement right now. We took our first settlement in the Kingdom of England. Uh, we're going to expand. We've got now a total of three settlements. We won a decisive victory against the English. We're killing rec when we killed Henry, um, the new king, of course, and now we got to this other king, Ethelred, who's got maybe dying actually next turn as well, because he we might just try and take him out. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you think I deserve a like, please leave a like down below. And if you're interested in more, um, yeah, and to keep up to date my latest videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can, yeah, yeah, join me in every time and every new video. So bye bye and thank you for watching and see you all later. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.